Hi everybody, Richelle here from Quebec Cyclidé. Today I'm going to explain what you have to do if ever your aquarium water is cloudy. I'll also explain the reasons why this happens, so stay tuned! First of all, if you're wondering what this fabulous t-shirt is, well it's the first of the series of merch that I will be selling in my Teespring store. The link is right in the video description if you want to be twinsies with me. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I post new content on every Thursday. There is a lot of fish information to share. So now back to the subject of cloudy water. Well, if you've seen this happen in your aquarium, you've probably panicked. My first advice that I have to give to you is don't panic. It happens to everybody and we can fix it with no casualties if we act fast enough. In this video, we're going to be talking about white cloudy water. If ever your aquarium is cloudy but green water, go check out my Algae Happens series. If your water is green, well, that is definitely what you have in your aquarium. So go check that out. So there are two reasons that I will be looking at today that will provoke cloudy water in the aquarium. The first is bacteria bloom and the second is unclean substrate. This is one of the most common reasons that you will witness cloudy water in your aquarium. Bacteria bloom will happen when the beneficial bacteria in your aquarium are proliferating like crazy. Usually this will happen because there's been a spike of ammonia and or usually and nitrite in your aquarium. Why would you get an ammonia spike in your aquarium? It usually happens when there is too much ammonia brought on by too much fish waste or just regular waste or bio load in your aquarium and there aren't enough beneficial bacteria in your filter to eat it all up and transform it into non-toxic nitrate. This will usually happen in the first weeks of starting a new aquarium. You're not supposed to add fish in right away because, well, there is no bacteria in your filter when you start it off brand new. That is completely normal. Leave the aquarium the time to cycle. If you add fish too soon before your filter is ready to receive them, well, you might have another ammonia spike as well. If you have fish in your aquarium, an ammonia spike can happen either if A, you are feeding way too much and there is just so much waste in your aquarium. Look at your substrate. If there is food rotting on it, that is not good and the rot also <laughs> is toxic for your fish. Another reason is if you added uh, new water to your aquarium and it is chlorinated. Well, we add chlorine in the drinkable water to kill bacteria. So when you add it in your aquarium and you don't use standard dechlorinators, well, it can kill the bacteria in your filter. It can also happen if you have cleaned your filter badly. Basically, if you've cleaned it too much. You're not supposed to clean your filter that much. I made a whole video on this subject because this is honestly the number one reason why there will be an ammonia spike in your aquarium. If you don't do anything while there is a bacteria bloom in your tank, it will stabilize over time. We don't do anything if there are no fish in the tank, just be patient, it'll pass. But if you have fish in your tank, like I said, ammonia and nitrate are extremely toxic for your fish. One of my first videos was about the nitrogen cycle that it is called, and it explains exactly what happens in your filter during this month. Go check that out after the video if ever you still have questions about this subject. If ever you get cloudy water and you have fish in your aquarium, well, now it's time to stress out. Not to panic, I told you not to panic, but you can be a little stressed out because ammonia is toxic for fish. Ammonia will burn and the nitrite will make it hard for fish to assimilate oxygen. So they're burning and suffocating. So we gotta act fast. First of all, we have to protect our fish because this is precious cargo. So lucky for us, there is a product on the market. It is called Seachem Prime. This product will detoxify the ammonia and nitrite in your aquarium. So this makes the environment bearable for the fish. Usually it'll take about a week for things to get back to normal. So you have to use this every day for a whole week. Okay, so now our fish are protected. So we can relax a little bit. Now let's help out that bacteria. Use bacteria enhancers. These products usually either add bacteria to the tank or feed the bacteria, whichever. This will accelerate the proliferation of the beneficial bacteria. The more bacteria you have eating the ammonia and nitrite, the faster you will fix your problem. 
finally, let's help out with the ammonia and nitrite reduction. Obviously, we can't eat ammonia and nitrite to transform it into nitrate because we are humans, that's not how we work. But there are products that we can buy that will help absorb it. So there are ammonia resins and there are also nitrite resins that will definitely help you out. You can also do every day a 10% water change, adding new water and don't forget your dechlorinators. If you have specific fish such as African cichlids, discus or whatnot, always add the appropriate products. So back to what we have to do. So we protect our fish with the Seachem Prime. We use bacteria enhancers to help feed the bacteria and we use resins to absorb the ammonia and the nitrite. We also do 10% water changes. That is my recipe for success. Let's say you still have cloudy water after a couple days and you're testing your water, you have zero ammonia, zero nitrite. What is going on? Well, I have found that sometimes our filters could be too powerful. And if you're able to reduce the flow rate just for about a week or two until the bacteria actually goes into the filter, that can help as well. In this case, it's not stable, but it's a lot less dangerous for the fish because they are not living in unbearable conditions. Sometimes just adding on a second filter that will help absorb all that extra bacteria will just help you out and it'll be gone within a day. While adding substrate to your aquarium, it's important to clean it thoroughly. If you don't clean it, the dust that would have come out during the cleaning stays inside it. And since that dust is so light and tiny, well, it just floats around in your aquarium. Even if you cleaned it well, sometimes there might be a little bit of dust while adding new substrate. Don't worry about this. At least this environment is not unbearable for your fish. So a trick to minimize the dust coming up is when you're filling your water to put either a plate or a rock under where the water is coming in. If this really annoys you, there are some products on the market like Fluval Quick Clear that will help precipitate the dust. You can use this if let's say you have a dinner party coming up and you really want your tank to look good and oops, there's dust everywhere. But if you don't use this, the dust will clear within a week or two. It's important to know that if you change the substrate in an active tank, you have to check your water parameters for about a week afterwards. There's actually a lot of beneficial bacteria that gets into the substrate. And when you change it, you get rid of a lot of that bacteria, obviously and the new one doesn't have any in it, meaning that there can be ammonia spikes and your filter is just a little bit more unstable. When I change the substrate, I usually put a Seachem Prime in for a couple days afterwards, just as a prevention in case there's an ammonia spike and I'm not there to manage it. Keep in mind that cloudy water happens to everybody at least once in the aquarium hobby. If you act fast, you'll be able to regain control quickly. If you're punctual with your aquarium maintenance, you do your water changes at least once a week, and you have good filter maintenance habits, you shouldn't encounter this problem during your aquarium adventure. And if you do, well, don't be so hard on yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever had to deal with cloudy water? And if so, what did you do to resolve the problem? Write that down in the comments. It'll help out this community a lot. If you like my videos, there is plenty more where that came from. Subscribe to the channel. I post new content on every Thursday. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. New in these past weeks, I've also started tweeting. So I put the link right down in the video description. Go subscribe to that or follow. Not quite sure of the jargon yet. If you like these fabulous t-shirts, they are also available on my Teespring store. Show your colors proudly of who you are, the cichlid geek. Go check it out right now. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.